Hi, in the last lecture, we have been talking about the hash function implementation as far as linear probing is concerned. In this lecture, I would like to show you how to implement the put method. The put method is going to get a key and a value, basically the data, and it's going to insert it into the associative array. Okay. As we have discussed in a theoretical section, there may be some problems and this is called collisions. So if we would like to map two key value pairs to the same array slot, it is called collision and somehow we have to resolve that problem. There are two options, chaining and open addressing. And here we are going to apply one of the techniques of open addressing, the so-called linear probing. Okay, so as you can see, we have the key space k1, k2, k3. The hash function is going to generate an array index out of these keys. This is what we have been discussing in the previous lecture. So this is why we need this hash function. It's going to get a key and it's going to transform this given key into an array position. Okay, in theory, this hash function is perfect which means that it's going to assign different array slots to different keys. But usually the hash function is not perfect. So it may happen that it's going to map two keys to the same array slot. As you can see, K2 is mapped to the array with index 2 and K3 is mapped to the same array slot. Okay, of course we are not able to assign two items to the same array slot, so somehow we have to resolve this problem. With chaining, we are able to maintain a link list basically, and as you can see, for example here, we are going to store the first value, and the first value is going to point to a second value in the same slot. The other solution is open addressing. If there is a collision, we are going to generate an other index for the given key. And basically we are going to try the next available slot. In this case, M minus two index. So this is what we want to implement and it's quite easy. We just have to generate a hash function. Okay, and it's quite easy. We have the key value pair we would like to insert. First, we have to take the hash function and generate the array index. And basically, this is the case of the collision. While the self keys index is not known, what does it mean? That that given array with that given index is not empty. The hash function has already generated a given key to that given slot. In this case, we have to find another empty slot. Okay, here we check that if the self keys index is equals to the key, what does it mean? That the same key has already been inserted to the data structure. What do we have to do? We just have to update it. So we are going to override the old value with the new one and return. But anyways, we are going to generate the next index and this is why it is the linear probing because we increment index by one. So, there was a collision and basically the algorithm is going to try the next slot. If it wouldn't be empty, the algorithm is going to generate the next index and it's going to try whether it is empty or not. So basically this is why it is called linear probing because we keep incrementing the index by one. Is it empty? No, it is not empty. Then we try the next slot available. Is it empty? Okay, it's empty, we just insert the item there. So this is what's happening here. While it is not empty, so basically there's a collision, first we check that, okay, do we have to update the given value with the same key? But anyways, we are going to keep generating indices until we bump into an empty array slot. And if we have the empty array slot with the given index, as you can see, it is the updated index, then we just have to insert the key value pair to that given location. So I guess the intuition is quite easy. We just have to use the hash function to transform keys into array indices. If there is a collision, we have to find the next index possible that's empty and we have to insert the given data and the key into the empty slot. 
oh, okay, so this is how we implement the put method, this is the linear probing, in the next lecture we are going to implement the get method. Thanks for watching.